Good morning. How are you today? I like present uh, some explanations of uh, concerning uh, construction of the pyramids, Egyptian pyramids, in opinion of geologists and after many years of observation. So let's start. In Egypt, there is a lot of various various pyramids of various shape of various age this is pyramid uh, known popular step pyramid and next typical pyramid of one of pyramids of soft snofru and so called broken pyramid and pyramid m made constructed using uh, dried bricks, damaged, strongly damaged. But let's go to the pyramid, typical pyramids we know from Giza. On this picture we have the basement, limestones, uh, with uh, prepared, specially prepared surface and steps in these limestones. The next pyramid start, started be built. As you see, this is the scale, this policeman. This step was and is up to now about 1.5, 1.6 meters. And as you see, this level is kept during all construction of the pyramid. But for keeping of this level, we use various stones, smaller and smaller, some bigger, as you see, this is bigger stone, which is uh, higher than surrounding blocks, but step by step in pyramid, this level was kept during all construction of pyramids. The size, the length of the pyramid uh, blocks was various, like this, but but like this too small. At other place, we have a level of construction, steps of pyramids, pyramid and big blocks above, and next to uh, constructed for the uh, uh, preparation of this level and two blocks and even three blocks because it's one, two, three blocks for keeping at this area. So as you see not important was leg length of the blocks but important was the height of the of the blocks. The, this the, the they keep they kept all time uh, this surface, these steps of pyramid, very flat and and it was in construction very important. There is next example, let's say mine steps constructed using blocks and small blocks for for keeping this this uh, level. When we look more carefully, picture is not very good, it's old picture from movie, uh, taken from movie, so it's not sharp, sorry, but it's not important. As you see, there are levels of construction of the pyramid, levels, blue arrows show the levels sometimes slightly higher, slump, sometimes slightly s smaller, lower, but as you see the blocks are, this, these levels are very flat, the steps are very flat, it, it was very important because these surfaces were surfaces of transportation of the blocks during construction of the pyramid, and as you see the size of the blocks, length of the blocks was various, 
most important view was the the level, not the 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 size, the length. Even for keeping of uh, keeping of these uh, flat surfaces of separate steps, they use reparation. They use small small stones. When we look more carefully to the to the walls of blocks, one can see traces of work on the surface of blocks. These blue arrows show traces of of one direction work preparation of the wall of the of the blocks. And there are delicate small lines of polishing of this surface. Talking about materials for construction of pyramid is necessary to know that limestones used for uh, construction of pyramids in deposit in quarries were slightly wet, soft and easy for work. It was very easy to prepare flat surfaces because this limestone was very, very uh, dedicate was very uh, soft and for preparation it is possible that for preparation of blocks for cutting were used uh, cutters uh, with flints flint uh, is hard its hardness about seven and between six and seven and uh, it's easy using uh, flint cut the the the, the limestone the limestone composed of calcite is soft and hardness in scale of uh, mose is uh, about 2 it's big difference between hardness of limestone and flint <coughs> probably there are traces of work Using implements made of made made of of uh, flint, and but but when these blocks after preparation were left on the sun, on full sun the water evaporated, rest of the minerals present in this uh, humidity inside the blocks uh, crystallized and blocks start to be hard and good for construction. Closer observation, closer down observation uh, of uh, spaces between blocks, its base of the pyramid, there are blocks, uh, show the presence of substance. At many places these blocks are very near one to other, it's even uh, 0.2 0.3 millimeter space, but at some places there is substance like there. We took this for analysis, and uh, it's gypsum crystallizing from the water, uh, migrating from the base under the under the pyramid, migrating in these capillar spaces between blocks up and up, and because of uh, solar solar activity, sun activity, water is evaporating and uh, uh, from this water start crystallized gypsum and force of the crystallization is uh, enough uh, big for uh, moving of the blocks the one from the other is separated, crystals growing mostly to this direction so they enlarge the space between primary uh, uh, space between blocks and look it looked like this it was discussion if it's not mortar uh, uh, but the way of crystallization of gypsum suggests that rather it's secondary gypsum crystallizing from migrating humidity than uh, mortar because in mortar or or uh, uh, grains or uh, crystals are not organized in structure. It's irregular. 
grains are there and there and so so but in crystallizing substance uh, crystals are growing to uh, uh, they show orientation in crystallization so they, they they grow in various directions and it's seen under the microscope there are examples of various uh, limestones uh, collected from areas surrounding pyramids in Giza, the trital with the rest of organisms, oolitic, uh, mixed chemical, uh, sparitic and uh, micritic, uh, dolomitic uh, uh, limestone, limestone containing uh, admixture of, of grains of quartz and uh, micritic limestones with, with uh, pyrite, with uh, s uh, sulfate of iron. The presence of this uh, sulfate iron minerals, pyrite, pyrite, pyrite uh, it's important because uh, this mineral is easy for oxidation in in black coal, in mines of black coal, oxidation of this mineral leads to uh, burning of, uh, of uh, layers of, of coal, of carboniferous coal. So the temperature of oxidation is relatively high. In limestones of pyramids, the, the amount of this uh, sulfate is not very high, but enough uh, uh, high and important that the process of oxidation which is uh, energetic give energy uh, leads to the uh, uh, elevation of the temperature of pyramids inside a temperature of, of pyramids sorry temperature of pyramids in pyramids temperature in pyramids, medium year temperature in pyramids in, in is higher than medium temperature outside the pyramids because of uh, exogenic uh, uh, processes of oxidation of iron uh, uh, sulfates present in blocks of, of pyramids. Uh, this process leads to formation of secondary uh, iron oxides, especially on the surface of pyramids, and because of this, pyramids uh, look like slightly reddish. Uh, limestone is yellowish, but surface of pyramids is slightly reddish. It's beautiful in the s sun, but uh, process is secondary ty type of weathering type of oxidation of these black sulfates. As you see, th there is again this photo of the steps of pyramids. Uh, from the distance, it, l it looks like irregular because these blocks are I irregular in shape. And from long distance, this looks like that this is near, this is higher, this is but but level is all time uh, preserved, one level. So let's look to the reconstruction of process of construction of, of building of the pyramids. After preparation of the basement, uh, pyramids start to be built and blocks were put one on the other, but a shape was created and steps, first steps of pyramid were, were created and even first steps were covered with the, uh, with the veneer, were, were flat, were, were, were ideal. These, these steps were not uh, covered with uh, these uh, smooth uh, blocks uh, at the end. They, they were put during the construction of the pyramid. And blocks uh, transported there to this green area next were lifted on step by step higher and transported to various parts 
of the pyramid. So pyramid was constructed mostly there. And this was left place for the lifting of blocks and transportation. Looking and fast and face to the uh, area, it looked like this. It was constructed, walls of pyramids and transportation of blocks for first steps and next lifted up and up. This cross section to this direction look like this. Cross section north-south, let's say, look like this. It was perfect, but was left this, this uh, entrance, this working place, this green area. And step by step, pyramid grow and was higher and higher. There was ma was many steps, one and half, one and six, one point six meter high for lifting of blocks up, 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 up. And next, on the level of construction, on the level of building, blocks were transported to various places together with construction of steps, let's steps, steps, flat surfaces. These uh, walls were filled up with uh, smooth block and pyramid at this part was perfect. And picture and fast and picture cross section to this direction look like this. And next step of construction of pyramid we are coming to the end of uh, construction of, of process of construction up and up. We are very high. The uh, place of work is not big. Uh, so uh, there was many steps and transportation of blocks high, high, higher, higher, higher. It looked like this. Uh, when we look uh, along the cross section west uh, east and uh, when we look along the line north south uh, situation look like this step by step blocks were transported higher and now we have the most difficult uh, point of the construction of pyramids so uh, location of the top of pyramid, small stone pyramid on the t top. Uh, it was down from the last steps of the uh, of the pyramid constructed before. So machines were put there, and as many people as was possible uh, went up, and using uh, machines and using uh, f force, human force, this top was located on the, on the top of pyramid. So pyramid was not finished when the top of pyramid was finished because there was left all this part for next uh, continuation of, of construction. So at this moment, up to this moment, to to, uh, to location of the top of pyramid, construction was built up and up and up. And from this moment, construction, when top was ready, pyramid was ready, top of pyramid was ready, pyramid start to be built down. So this empty space, so, space for transportation was next uh, filled up with the blocks and situation looked like this step by step this top was ready uh, steps were filled up with blocks and uh, covered with smooth blocks finishing the wall of the pyramid and its rest of the uh, working area look like this in the map, look like this and fast, and look like this from cross section along this line. At, at the end, pyramid was finished. 
So pyramid was not finished at the moment of construction of the top, but was finished when was uh, covered all wall used and all space used as space for transportation. And we have at last picture like this, number six. When we think about the machines used for construction of the pyramids, uh, it's necessary to take under the cons consideration windlass. It's simple machine used for transportation of water in canals and various places. So probably it was used in construction of the pyramids. But these windlass, windlass less, were not one machine. Probably during construction of pyramids there was a few or, or even many machines like these for transportation of blocks for separate steps. Uh, and construction uh, have to be special. Blocks were transported there, <laughs> next lifted up, like there, using uh, windless arms and uh, ropes, probably, at 1.5, 1.6 meter high, uh, lifted. For, for next surface of next steps, and from this place were blocks transported to various places of construction. Uh, how it looks like from physics? Uh, so, if we have there this uh, uh, rotating part of, of windlass, uh, and block medium weight is about 5,000 kilograms, 5,000 tons. So, and we use uh, the uh, windlass with arms, uh, windlass uh, arm about one meter, and ropes additionally, specially constructed at this point. We use force about 500 kilograms to move this block 1.5 meters high. Uh, so, if it's 10 people, uh, working, it's 50 kilograms for each. If it's 20 people working in this machine, with this machine, it's about 25 kilograms for each person. It's not very much for strong men. So, for transportation of one block was uh, necessary about 20 persons, and uh, it's easy to imagine that uh, on the pyramid, on the construction of pyramid, worked much more than 20 persons, so uh, it was not one machine, windless, and was many machines, many groups, and uh, using this technology steps by step, up, 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 uh, it was chance to to effectively work very fast. This, if blocks were prepared in quarries and transported to the place where the uh, pyramid was uh, built, it was easy to to uh, obtain results, growing of the pyramid relatively fast. So thank you very much for listening. And as you see, thousands of people observed these steps, and most of them knew that uh, there are steps of pyramids. Look, they are very flat, and it, they were they were the areas, they were the places of building, not th that we observe now steps. They were levels of building of the pyramid. And as you see, these uh, levels are more or less of the same uh, high. On a, they are similar, and basement is prepared. So after years, these blocks uh, filling up the steps, uh, making pyramid smooth, fall down, and we have now 
only pictures of, of steps of construction. And uh, in my opinion, the secret of construction of pyramids is explained this, this way. So thank you and please visit pyramids and see this fantastic structure and know that not Martian peoples and other UFO made this. This made was made by uh, strong Egyptian workers and clever engineers that create all this was not easy. So thank you very much and see you on next lecture. Bye-bye.